I want you to really pay attention to what I'm about to say. Dr. Vong, I had the wrong surgery. <laughs> my surgeon screwed up my surgery. You know how often I hear that? Maybe he did. Or more likely, maybe you just had a complication, you weren't expecting it, etc. Right? Or maybe he didn't do a good job of explaining what the surgery was going to be. Or maybe, most often though, people who have a sleeve often say, I wish, what? I had a bypass. A lot of patients who have a bypass say, I wish, they had a sleeve back then, back in the day. I would have done a sleeve instead. I get this question all the time. Can you revise a bypass to a sleeve, Dr. Vong? Answer is not for weight loss. Okay. So we're talking about weight loss here, right? Because that's really what you guys are most likely interested in is having another weight loss surgery to keep losing weight or loss some weight regain. Now, here's the point of this section. If you keep this mindset, you will fail your next surgery. If you continue chasing this mindset, you will fail your next surgery eventually, right? Eventually. Because the truth of the matter is you're looking for an answer outside of you. When all along, the answer's always been inside of you. By that I mean everything that's going to make you successful in this life, whether it's weight loss, health, money, marriage, everything that's going to ever make you successful, it's inside of you. It starts inside of you. It starts with your thoughts, your emotions. And if you're not willing to do the hard work, if you're still blaming your surgeon for retiring or that you lost your insurance and that's why you regained the weight, you're going to fucking fail the next surgery. You got to stop blaming the system, the country you live in, your surgeon, your program, and you got to start having that deep talk with that person in the mirror. So why is there junk food in my house? Why are my kids obese? Why am I in this loveless, passionateless marriage? Why don't I have more money? Why don't I move? Why do I keep putting up with my mother-in-law talking bad about me? Why, why is this person still my friend? Why haven't I figured this out yet? You got to start having that conversation with that person in the mirror because that revision surgery, every surgery that you do has more and more risk of complications. Why? Because there's more and more scar tissue. It's a much harder and harder surgery, right? And eventually you run out of options. You, there's not an infinite number, of inf, infinite number of surgeries for you. Eventually the doctors, the surgeons will pass. We have, we have the right to pass on you. And it could be because your surgery, your case is beyond my skill level, so I'm gonna send you to the academic center. Or it could be that you're just a pain in the ass. And we're just not gonna deal with you. It's not a, like, yes, everybody's entitled to good health care, but you're not entitled to be a dick. You're not entitled to be whiny jerk and blame. That is a major issue we're having with in healthcare right now. It's a lot of, and I'm saying this with a lot of love, because it's a two-way street, yes? It's, it's an interaction, it's a relationship. It's not just the doctor, it's you too, right? We have too many people that are burnt out, too many doctors that are unhealthy, unhappy, stressed out, um, overweight, not making enough money, worried about their kids, haven't had a vacation in a long time. And on top of that, We've got a system that's broken, right? Like, so we've got long wait hours in the emergency room. We got people misusing uh, the services. And then when you get the services, we've got, we just, I'll just be frank about it. We have patients that are just assholes. 
They're just not grateful. They're, and for whatever reason, maybe because we let them down psychologically. We're not, we need to work more and deal better with psychological illnesses, right? We might need to, we need to have a serious discussion about the narcotic issue in this country and in the world. And when someone's addicted to narcotics, I can't be angry at them because they're not themselves, right? That's why we forgive drug addicts and alcoholics and, you know, all that sort of stuff. But at the end of the day, you need to do the hard work. That's where this comes from. There is no wrong surgery, per se. It's more of a wrong mindset. Your expectations is what got you in trouble. I thought, Dr. Vong, I'd have this surgery, and I researched my surgeon, and he came highly recommended, and I just thought I'd have this surgery, and the weight would just vanish, would just come off. I thought if I got that stupid crap band out and got a sleeve that this heartburn would go away, but it's worse than ever. I thought if I had the uh, sleeve and I t changed it to a bypass, I would lose my weight regain, and I haven't lost anything. That was, I get these comments all the time. And the only response for you is this. I mean, it's all the hard work in here. And remember, my promise to you has always been this. I never tell you to do something I don't do. I struggle every single day with my own health, my physical fitness, waking up early, eating right, having the right fortitude, mind, mindset, leadership skills. I read. I try to read a book a week. I listen to 10 self-help videos on YouTube uh, at least every single day. Um, I try to cut out the junk, the extra times. I try to only associate with the best people. I try to up-level my circle. It's all the stuff that I try to teach you all. And if you really want to end this obesity issue, you're going to have to sit down and just do the fucking work. Right? And I'm here to deliver that message and information to you. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Hi, Dr. Vong here. If you loved that video, I hope you will check out Velocity2020.com. I want to meet you in person. This is my big annual conference in Vegas. It's amazing. It's not just about weight loss surgery, but it's about taking your life up to the next level. You're going to meet the best people, the best speakers, the best audience possible. You're going to really take your life up to the next level. 2020 is all about vision, clarity and focus we're going to show you how to find your vision what you really want to do with your life get crystal clear clarity and then find your laser focus to do what you need to do to have the amazing life that you deserve hope to see you there